Hi, this is Larbeard. I'm back after uh, quite a bit of a hiatus. I hope this video is in uh, good enough quality because I'm using my just my laptop, not any fancier camera. And what made me come out of my slumber is the uh, Metrotron's video I saw this morning. He released it last night. And it's about the effect of magic on fantasy armor, or his take on the subject. And I think he had some good points, and first of all I gotta say he had some good points, and you have an insane work rate. I can can hardly keep up with watching everything, you, you turn up almost a video a day, so props to you. And most of your points were pretty good, there were some that are really off, and I'd like to just have my take on the subject. So first of all we talk about types of elemental damage. You're, you refer to electricity, and electricity... He said, well, the metal armor shouldn't be effective again against it, and I find it to be the exact opposite. And you can see this in real life, uh, where you have a, a higher conductive layer around your body, the electricity would prefer moving through that, it has a much lower resistance, than through you, and then you will be unharmed, or hardly harmed. And you can see it in, uh, if you just... Google in Tesla coil and uh, male suits and a lot of people wearing suits of mail or inside a, a metal cage in front of a huge Tesla coil and being zapped right around or even through them and they are, are, are unharmed and now uh, even though if you're wearing steel plates it's not as good because you won't have any transition between the plates because they're sometimes they're connected with leather straps if you're having mail on that's pretty that's pretty good and that's steel or iron if you have something that's even more conductive like copper uh, you're much better off now copper is heavier and not as strong as steel but if we take into consideration this type of, of magic if it's common or abundant and specifically electricity that can spread out against uh, and hitting a lot of people you might want to try and incorporate that and could be even just having a chain or a very thin layer of mail on top of your other armor or also having a grounding strap just a strap or a chain connecting you to the ground to let that electricity flow through it and not through you that could be a great effect and also against shields you can have shields covered with uh, a thin layer of steel have a chain grounding it and you have an anti-electrical uh, shield that's uh, one point another thing is that uh, conducting electricity generates heat and the hotter something it, uh, hotter a metal goes the less conductive it is so it warms even faster so you might wanna consider using stuff just to vent out all that heat so it's again using copper. Copper has a very high uh, heat capacity and heat transference. Unlike steel, that doesn't that transfers heat pretty good, not as good as copper. Or uh, gold transfers heat very well, but it melts. Gold and silver both melt very very low. So I'd say use much more copper. Maybe that's why we see all these brass designs in fantasy. Uh, the second type of very common elemental damage is fire, or specifically fireballs. Now, fireballs can be split into mainly two different types of damage they cause you. The first of all is the concussive damage, if they explode, and usually they're described as they're being exploding or uh, taking up space uh, from a central point where, it, where the ball hits, and there isn't really a good solution for that. Nowadays, we have problems protecting people from concussive forces, especially if they're got to be mobile and have to wear their own protection. And in a medieval sense, I guess it's just Gamson layered with leather, laid with more Gamson. Or maybe you want to try a collapsing armor, like you see in a lot of structures and buildings. You have a ceramic foam or a metal foam that when hit with a concussive wave they crush and absorb that energy and there aren't a lot of natural structures that do that and especially not in a thin layer so maybe some type of 
coral or oh, bone or specifically bird bone or if you have it uh, mythical creatures that are supposed to fly like dragons and griffins so on that may, they might have hollow bones that are tough but are able to crush and uh, absorb some of that energy second thing you gotta consider is using uh, something against the heat now uh, a fellow many talked about you getting burned by it and usually if the explosion is fast enough that's not going to be an issue the real issue is inhaling those uh, flames or the steam or the superheated air because that's where a lot of people or I don't know probably most people who die in fires die from asphyxiation or from burns in their uh, vascular system in the respiratory system and that could actually have pretty simple solutions you should have closed an, an ability to close off or fend off most of your air supply and not using metal but something like a uh, leather that won't take up the heat and burn your face off while you're keeping you protected from burning your lungs so something like a leather mantle or a veil hanging from the top of your uh, I don't know uh, chapelle or some sort of uh, wide brim helmet something to keep the hot air away from you maybe even a, a medics a, a plague doctor's mask that could be very useful against preventing from hot air going into your lungs too fast that's another type of consideration maybe even have a snorkel going up the back just like what you have their magical antennas um, uh, and the fourth subject is maybe you talked about having a gem on your breastplate to channel energy uh, I would say the other way around it should be on their back facing your support mage that he can see has a direct line of sight to their uh, magic gem that probably probably will be better um, last subject we might not get into it but the uh, magic could be an electromagnetic wave and if it's an electromagnetic wave there are several wavelengths that can be it it could be light and I think I remember some DNA spells are spectral light and each beam has a different type of uh, effect or uh, so in that case you would like mirror armor and I don't mean like the the eastern type it's e mirror armor that has nice round plates here or square plates on your body but really polished armor that that might reflect some of the light away and prevent it from being absorbed by armor and sub sub subconsciously you uh, another type is if you have a specific color of light you would like to paint your armor that color because then if it hits that paint it's being reflected and not absorbed that's specifically about heat but it could also be the magical properties of that light and the other type of uh, wavelength we have is uh, well, radio wave of the different types there are a lot of wavelengths like microwave and, and x-rays and so on and so on for that you could probably use like either a gauss shield and that could be just a web of conductive material of metal covering you and that might protect you from some wavelength the type of uh, uh, radiation that it will block depends or the wave that it block depends on the spacing of those rings I could have specific rings for specific types of uh, electromagnetic magic and the other type is you could have yourself lead lined that so works against Superman and that's pretty much magic it says x-ray vision so why not you and of course you could have just super strong magical electromagnets pushing away stuff it could also be used even push away arrows hitting you or something like that but that's just that's a whole different subject but I guess you could use magic to help your armor in ways that are not just uh, plus one against uh, sword or plus five against spider uh, could be we could try to, to use the scientific or engineering point of view in magic to come up with some original ideas for our games uh, so that pretty much sums up I think everything I, I conjured up today and so I hope uh, some of you see this and enjoy it and maybe it gets you thinking about stuff 
and I hope I'll get into more regular recordings and see you in the games.